Hello, I'm Tom Campbell coming to you from the LG Digital Studio at Georgetown University School of Continuing Studies in focus today making a great technology manager. I'm joined by John Taylor, Senior Vice President of Public Affairs and Communications at LG Electronics USA. John, welcome to Georgetown. Thanks for having me, and I'm so glad to be here in the LG Digital Broadcast Studio. <laughs> I've never seen opportunity for our students like this ever before. Technology is the buzzword, it'd be artificial intelligence, augmented reality, smart cities, you name it. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. Absolutely, and I have to tell you, it's so exciting to be at a company like LG that's involved in all of those areas and more. So what do you see for our students? What do you see right now? Well, it's, it's a, an amazing horizon out there, and I, I never would have imagined when I was an English major <laughs> in a liberal arts program right. that I would be so deeply entrenched in technology, but it's, it's such an integral part of our lives today. And uh, I think it's, it's an amazing career opportunity for managers, even a non-technical person like mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. I work with hundreds of engineers, but mm -hmm. I don't have the engineering degree in the room. Right, but, but technology an, an management. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Right, and the, and the thing is, John, you take a look, I mean, you've done so much. You're on the board of the Consumer Technology Association. It used to be called, by the way, the Consumer Electronics Association. They produce the CES show. You're on that board, uh, as well as many others. But you get more of a global, view of what's happening. So what does this mean to our students? I mean, opportunities like never before, right? Yeah, absolutely, if you, if you look at some of the areas you mentioned at the mm -hmm. beginning here, things like smart cities and sustainable technologies <clears throat> for, for cities and interactivity, uh, autonomous cars, uh, AI, these, yeah. these, all these various areas are, are transforming our lives and there are a lot of great companies and uh, consulting firms and other opportunities for employment after graduation that are looking for uh, very sharp students like those uh, graduates that we produce here at, North, at uh, Georgetown. Now that's a very good point, John. Let me ask you a question then. So for our students, how do they make that connection? You know, we talk about networking, being involved with these corporations. I mean, for example, LG is more than, yeah, you're an electronics company, but you're really a technology company. Look at OLED. In fact, even the screens that we have here in the studio are the LG screens, not to do a commercial. But the no. point being is that how does a student make that connection? I know you've got many openings uh, in technology management, so how does one open that door? Well, there's thankfully at a place like Georgetown, there's already this built-in amazing mm -hmm. network mm -hmm. of uh, alumni and uh, and sponsors, and I, I, we would urge students and and in both at the graduate level and the undergraduate level to tap into internships early on, mm -hmm. to dip their toe in a, a variety of different areas, to really find what is the right fit. Because there's so much available today, there's no question. Absolutely. I mean, it used to be that glass ceiling, like, you know, I had students tell me, well, gee, you know, how do I get a, a, on a board position? How do I get to report to someone that's in authority? Well, today, the technology people are right there, either on the board or as a chief technology officer, or, I mean, you name it, there's so many opportunities, yeah, John. You don't it's, have to be a technology expert to, uh, to play a big role in the, in the technology industry and the, in the various parts of the ecosystem that make up the, the technology landscape today. Well, you know, you meet a lot of people, so I want to know what is the most important skill that someone should try to focus on and develop to grow in this category? Well, it's... Um, Somewhat of a broad question, but what... what, what? I, I think that whether it's in technology or management in general, I think the starting place is, uh, is you know, the ability to listen and learn. I mean, one of the things that uh, I've always drawn on from my uh, from my background as in a liberal arts major was yeah. the um, learning how to learn right, and right. Uh, always being inquisitive and never stop learning because there's just so much. It's such a fast-paced mm -hmm. area of technology today um, that uh, you know, as long as you listen and learn and continue to. And find mentors, and there are there are uh, many great mentors in my career, mm -hmm. uh, including yourself, you. uh, who I've looked up to for many many years. Uh, that uh, you you continue to learn from and continue to find ways to grow your career. Well, one thing when you spoke to our students, you talked about self branding. That's important, isn't it? Self branding. It is, and and uh, you know I'm not a social media <laughs> maven by any means in my in my yeah. uh, generation, but um, I think. 
Right. How you're perceived, how it's, people it's see you as a person. How you, how you position yourself, yeah. um, and I think that's uh, you know one of the great things about Georgetown that you know you have this great Jesuit education, and people come away from here with a with a great uh, sense of self mm -hmm. and and a sense of giving back, giving back to the community as well. And there's so many areas, John. I mean, you take a look. I'm, some of our students are looking at maybe having a federal job working for the government. Some in private sector some in nonprofit sector, and I've met a number of students, get ready for this, that want to have a startup company. They've got an idea in their brain, they want to start a company. Right. Look at Oculus, for example. You and I met the founder who got over a billion dollars. Remember that time at CES? He's, He's sitting on the floor man. hitting tofu, and uh, hey, and look at this thing, and it's a big metal thing that goes over your head. And he sold it for a million, uh, for a billion dollars. Yeah, and and, uh, and it's a pretty fluid uh, job market these days. You know, unlike myself, who's basically been at the same company for three decades, people, People move around a lot, and I think you know we we all know people that have moved from the private sector into government and back, and from big corporations into startups. I mean, th this is what uh, you know if you kind of follow a trajectory of your passions about technology uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and you know, be on the leading edge of trends. I think you know amazing opportunities are out there. Well, this is fabulous. Now, technology has always been a large part of your background, John. And a lot of the students want to learn how to formulate a plan, how to use the resources, how to create your strategy. Any any thoughts on that? Well, it's uh, it's we could talk for days about <laughs> this, but uh, I think developing the strategy is uh, you know first and foremost, it's important to listen to your customers and understand what the needs are. And it's not we talk a lot about technology and innovation, but it's not technology for technology's sake. It's how do you impact consumers' lives and your customers? needs by implementing technology. Absolutely. Well, John, let me ask you, uh, what do you see as far as the students, what the future is? What are some of the opportunities you see? You've, you, you touched on it earlier a little bit about, you know, whether it be in sales, engineering, social engineering. What, what do you see that's really going to be hot the next, say, the next five years? Well, in digital marketing as well, if, you, if this technology uh, is such a, a, a broad platform that mm -hmm. it touches all of the business areas that you might want to get involved in. Uh, certainly in, in IT, uh, IT managers are focused on a lot of new areas like cybersecurity is extremely hot these days. Uh, you look at uh, product development, uh, digital marketing, uh, I think people uh, coming through school today who are yeah. already uh, <clears throat> very steeped in social media are going to be well equipped to, to serve companies like ours to help communicate about innovations and in technology to consumers as well. So, uh, you know, when you think of technology management, yeah. it's not just managing engineers. It's it's how how do you tell a story? How do you help uh, your customers mm -hmm. and your business partners? understand the value that, that your organization brings from a technology standpoint. John, I could talk to you for hours about this, so let me just wrap up with one thing here. I know LG's known for like the OLED screens, the TVs, but you're in many other areas. Give me just a, a fast uh, overview of some of the other areas yeah, you're involved and, with. And we're seeing a lot of convergence today. I mean, yeah. a company like LG, I think, mm -hmm. is uniquely positioned because we have uh, hundreds of connected appliances. Mm -hmm. and, and Everything is connected to Wi-Fi and the internet, and they talk to each other. And, right. Cellular um, phones. Okay. And, and, and at CES in 2018, we're going to do a deep dive on artificial intelligence really? and uh, deep learning and how how these technologies can really transform your life. And it's so we're not just a TV company or an appliance company or a mobile phone company, but all of these things are coming together mm -hmm. uh, in a connected lifestyle. Oh, this is fabulous. Hey, John, thank you so much for sharing your insights with us today. It's been a pleasure, really, to have you here. And thanks to everyone watching out there. Stay tuned now for more from the LG Digital Studios at Georgetown SCS. Thank you so much.